Hello everyone and welcome to Learn Tech. In this video, I'll show to you guys how you can install OneDrive on your PC and then how you can start using OneDrive, how you can edit the files directly on your PC without coming on the web to edit those files, where we know it's quite complicated to change the files from the web version. So that's why I'm gonna show you how you can link your PC with your OneDrive web version. The first thing that we need to do is just to download OneDrive from Microsoft page and the link about that I will put on the description below and you just come over here and you click over download OneDrive here and then the setup file will start downloading on your PC. It's quite easy to install OneDrive, you just have to click over it once it's downloaded and then the installation setup will start. After we are done with the installation, I will show to you how you can synchronize OneDrive with your online account. So whatever you edit on your web browser or in your PC, then it will be shown here. Another thing that Microsoft have done is that it is providing for you OneDrive mobile app and you can download it on your Android or in your iPhone. And there you can also edit the files and they will be synchronized with all the devices where you are using the same account for OneDrive. Here we are, OneDrive is installed now. So we have installed OneDrive personal. In order to open OneDrive, you just search here OneDrive and then it will show the application. Or another way how you open the OneDrive is by clicking on this cloud here. So you just click over here and then it will show the OneDrive. Here you can edit or change the settings of OneDrive by clicking over here, help and settings, and then you choose settings. And over here you can adjust which account you wanna use for your OneDrive by clicking here, add an account or unlink this PC. So if this is not the account that you want to synchronize with your computer, then you can unlink this PC and add another account. In order to specify the folders that you want to synchronize with your PC, you need to click over here, choose folders, and here you can specify the folder that will be on your PC and at OneDrive web version. But the default folders are those here and you cannot change. For example, if I want to unselect desktop, you'll see this notification which is saying the folder you try to unselect is the Windows desktop folder which is an important folder in Windows and is currently pointed to OneDrive. In my case I cannot because I have done this that whatever I have on the desktop is saved on the OneDrive just to be safe that nothing happens to my files that I have on my desktop. Now in your case if you haven't done this what I have done then you can change this so you can select which folders you want to have on your OneDrive on your desktop and also on your OneDrive web version. Now let's give it a try let's create a new folder and let's see if it will be synchronized with OneDrive web version. In order to open OneDrive you just have to open the Explorer so you just have to open the Windows Explorer here so we open the file explorer and then normally it will show here on the left the OneDrive. In my case it's here and this is the name of my OneDrive. You can identify your OneDrive by just searching for this logo of OneDrive. So now let's create a new folder and let's see if it will show on my OneDrive web version. So I'll just create new folder and I'll name it, let's say Learn Tech and let's see. So now this sign here means that it was synchronizing and now it's done the synchronization. In order to confirm that the synchronization is done between your computer and the OneDrive web, you have to check this sign here. When it is the status with this green light, it means that the synchronization it's done when it's with this sign it means that it's still synchronizing let's have a look let's open the web let's reload the OneDrive and let's see here we are so the learn tag folder that I just created it is showing also in the OneDrive web version let's try the opposite let's create a folder on the web version and let's see if it will show there I'll name this one YouTube and let's see here it is it's showing here let's go back 
to the one drive that i have here and let's see if it will show here let's go back once and let's see here we are the youtube folder is showing over here now that we have more folders that we have created let's give it a test and let's change the folders that i want to synchronize with my pc so we open the settings here once again and let's click over account and then we choose the folders that i want to synchronize and as we can see there are more folders over here i'm just going to unselect the folder learn tech which means that i don't want this folder to be on my pc but only at the onedrive web version so it will be here on the onedrive web version but it will not be anymore on my pc let's click ok and let's have a look now learn tech it's gone we can do the same, let's say, for the YouTube folder that I have just created. We open once again the OneDrive from here, and then we click on the settings here, and then account and choose folders. Let's say I want to take out the YouTube folder that I just created. We press over OK, and let's see. Now it's gone from my computer, but obviously it will be still here because I haven't deleted from the web version, and it will be here as long as I haven't deleted now, something interesting is that how you can edit or how you can see those shared files on your PC. As you can see, I cannot choose the files that have been shared with me to be on my PC. Let me show you how you do that. So, we go on the web version of OneDrive and as you can see, there are two folders that have been shared with me. Let's say that I want to have this domain controller project to be on my PC so I can edit it. Now we select the folder and then we click add shortcut to my files. And in this way, it will add a shortcut to my files. Let's go over my files here on the left. And as we can see now, domain controller project is also showing on my files. Now let's open the OneDrive and let's select choose folders and as we can see now the main controller project is showing as a folder that i can select to be on my pc let's open now the onedrive and let's have a look on my pc if it is showing here we are the main controller project is showing now on my pc and now if i want to edit this domain controller project on my pc it will be already shared also with the other persons that are on this project so let's create for example a new folder over here and let's have a look let's open the my files and now we can see that it is showing this new folder here on the my files but also if we click over shared and we select the domain controller project we can see that this change that we did on this folder it is showing on the shared there are because there are high chances that this folder is used also from other persons because it is shared between different persons that are working on this project. So this is the easiest way and the best way how you can edit the folders that are shared with you on your PC. So we select the folder and we just create a shortcut to my files. So basically the project remains here where it is shared, but you just create a shortcut to your files and in this way you can edit over there. Let's have a look if this shared project the changes are reflected with the other user. In this case, I'm using another user and let's have a look if it's replicated over here. We click over domain controller and here it is. It is shared the change also with this other user. Good, so those are the main things that you're gonna need for OneDrive in order to download it on your PC, to synchronize with your OneDrive web version, to synchronize your files or the shared files. I hope that this tutorial will help you to start using OneDrive for different projects or even for personal use. That's all that I wanted to share with you guys for this time. Please leave your comments below. Let me know if you like this video or what you want to be clarified in another video for OneDrive. Thanks a lot for watching and please consider subscribing to our channel. Wish to you all the best.